It's what you choose to invest your money in. Um, you know, you could choose a bigger TV or better food. <laughs> About a year ago, Taylor Evans and some of his friends at JMU decided to pay the $200 fee to become a member of the Friendly City Co-op. We want to see it succeed because this doesn't really, this sort of model doesn't exist um, in a lot of the, like, the big box stores. Uh, you don't really know the people who own it. Um, you don't have an input on what sort of gets put on the shelves, and here that's totally different. That sort of mentality has been the mission of the co-op's organizers since the plan started nearly six years ago. There was a group of people who saw a need for a local grocery store, locally owned, run by the community, with local farmers. We have a great farmer's market, but we needed something in the downtown area that people could walk to and have something all day, every day for all their needs. After hitting the one-year mark, the co-op is still eager to grow and provide new food choices for folks in the valley. We just want to keep improving, keep building up. Uh, as people become members, it really helps us because their sh shares help build equity so we can continue to grow and do new things. And ultimately, it's a great cycle that with what they do, it's going to help them in return. For the most loyal customers, they just hope the next year at the co-op is as great as the first. I just hope that they keep doing as well as they're doing. Um, you know, it's it's good to see more people like on days like this come in. Um, when they hold events and workshops, seeing the groups of people that come in is really, really cool. So I hope that um, they stay successful. In Harrisonburg, Dave Beiknish, WHSV News 3.